We bought merch from some top creators, and today we're going to rate it and deem some of them winners and others losers. Is it the first time we're drinking on the show? This cannot be legal. Oh. <laughs> Did you guys get it? Oh! So this has officially become our most expensive video, which is why we want to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Shopify. But more on Shopify at the end of the episode. Our first product is a pre-workout supplement from the Sway Boys. This is $39.99, there's 25 servings, and each serving contains 270 milligrams of caffeine, which is equivalent to three cups of coffee. <laughs> there's just an emoji with its head exploding. That's what's here. gonna, that's gonna be us. All right, let's give it a shot. Cheers. Wow, that is uh, that, that, tasty. That, I was ready to hate yeah, this. Kind of tasty. Wow, that tastes really good. Sweet, good. sweet, delicious. sweet and delicious. I was like, careful how much you drink, Doug. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's that's good. Yeah. I'll take a little, just a little oh, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a little bit more, man. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not trying to die. I'm ready. You want the box or no? I'm like hurt my teeth. Um, <laughs> man, do I Whoa. feel? Do I feel like? Let me just tell you, I feel like taking off my shirt and dancing right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I feel like I'm blowing the TikTok. I feel like a million bucks. Mm, yep. This cannot mm -hmm. be legal. Also, they were definitely drinking this before making TikToks. Oh right? yeah. Because then you drink it and you're like, ooh. Ooh, I feel I feel good right yeah. now. Yeah. You drink it and then your body moves in ways. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the criteria that we're going to be judging all of these products on today is going to be <sighs> scalability beyond the creator. So could someone who's not a fan of the creator buy this and enjoy it? Next, is it authentic to the creator and their audience? Does the product make sense? And then lastly, the shareability of the product. Is it inherently shareable, something that maybe a fan would share to someone who isn't a fan? All right, so first and foremost, with the Sway pre-workout, I don't even think this brand still exists, right? No, is the, the Sway house is gone. It's done. So, At the time, of course, they were making a lot of workout content. I mean, here's the thing. If you're under the age of 18, you can't even consume this or you're not supposed to. So uh, their audience doesn't really match here. My assumption is that we're going to see this in a infomercial in five years, maybe 10 years. That's like, did you drink Sway pre-workout? <laughs> yeah. Were you part of the Sway way? Yeah. Call us today because you could have a disease. <laughs> Something yeah. could be wrong with you. The main problem for them is that it doesn't match the audience. Yeah. A fitness creator on YouTube, it would make sense. Yeah. But you don't watch the Sway Boys, or I didn't watch the Sway Boys, for workout inspiration. You watch them for life inspiration. Yeah, yeah. so I was sort of a different type of consumer. <laughs> you watch them for hair inspiration. Yeah, I'm looking for hair, yeah. clothing. Yeah, this is a loser because the Sway brand doesn't even exist anymore. This doesn't match the audience. I don't think this is shareable at all. This is just not it. Yeah. Surprisingly... Delicious, delicious, though. but delicious points for being delicious, but this is a loser. All right. The next product we have is Feastables by Mr. Beast. So this is actually a snack brand that Mr. Beast has been working on for a long time. And actually the chocolate bars are the first product, but I expect to see more products from them. What I love about this brand is the way that he launched it. The first thing he did was send it to a bunch of creators and there was a countdown before they could open the box and see all the product. All of these have a mystery ticket inside. You scan your code and you can win a bunch of prizes. Some of the prizes were ending up in a Mr. Beast video. It's a gamified experience, which is super authentic to Mr. Beast. And we had the quinoa crunch in this office and we finished all of it. I'm gonna blame that on Tyga. Yeah. Tyga yeah. just crushes these things. What? I mean, this is delicious. Is it authentic to his audience? I think the thing about Mr. Beast's audience is it's a mass audience. So when you look at what he's doing, fast food, with burgers, right? That is mass audience, mass appeal. Chocolate bars, mass audience, mass appeal. He's not a niche creator. When it comes to scalability, right now, I think you kind of have to be a Mr. Beast fan to buy this, but I know they're gonna roll out other types of products, which I think you won't have to be a fan of him to buy this one. This is very much tied to his brand. What do you think the next Feastables product should be? Chocolate covered pretzels. That sounds good. I think it should probably be beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> The same brand sells chocolate and beef jerky? Yeah. No? What? Feastables. You feast like a beast. If you want chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> You don't think so? I just think chocolate you, and beef jerky. You're not understanding. It's what a, am I not understanding? It's a snack brand. Are you raising your voice, <laughs> or am I raising my voice? <laughs> Oh man, Swayway is insane. That's a hell of a drug. I just think with Feastables, you want to have products that can be at a 7-Eleven or like on, on your way out of a gas station. Like I just think about what types of products are in those mass distribution outlets. Beef jerky. 
Chocolate covered beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> Meet me halfway. Uh, I mean, Meet me listen, halfway. Listen, fine. Chocolate covered almonds. That's my final. That's smart. Done. Mr. Beast Bar, winner. All right. The next product is the Korean Vegan Cookbook by Joanne Lee Molinaro. And her genre on TikTok is what she calls story time, where she's essentially cooking a meal and telling a personal story at the same time. I graduated college early. I went to law school. I got a job. I married my college sweetheart. We bought a house. And the reason I think this really took off is because it's a niche within a niche, right? It's yeah. not only Korean food, it's vegan Korean food. And if you're watching that and you know someone who's vegan who also likes Korean food, that's so easy to share it. And I think that's why this book is so shareable and so successful. You do not have to know that the Korean vegan is a TikTok account no. to enjoy this book. I know you want that pasta. Angry penne pasta? Yeah, I'm angry that I don't have that exactly. penne pasta. You know what I'm saying, Colin? Korean vegan cookbook is a winner. And before we get to another product for you guys to review, we actually have a surprise. A surprise? A surprise. A team surprise. All right. I love and hate surprises. I don't know if it's the fact that there's a surprise coming or the sway pre-workout, but my heart is racing Same. right I've, now. I'm scared. <laughs> tell us when to tell open us, them. Tell us when to open. Oh! A wheel. The way that this wheel works, there are 14 creators okay. all around the wheel. You're going to spin the wheel and we have a hat with different slips of paper that you'll pull a piece from either a book apparel, product, or food, and you will have to create on the fly a piece of merchandise oh, wow. for that creator. That's good. Oh, Johnny Harris apparel. Oh, that's hard. Two different ideas. Okay. Number one, he's got great shirts. What about his jacket? No, the I'm orange getting, puffy that was my jacket. second idea. Oh, okay. first idea, yeah. shirts. I don't like it at all. Okay. I, <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's Johnny Harris outerwear. Yeah, and of I course, because he's I think a travel creator. Yeah, it's the jackets, and then I think it's beanies. But he doesn't wear above the ear beanies. I think it's something to get you outside of your house and get you across borders. That was his big show on Vox, was yeah. borders. Like, how do you experience the world? You get nice outerwear, tents, sleeping bags, it's a camping company. I also think he could and just do- time. Okay, all right, great. Okay, next we have three products that all go well together, but we'll start with the first product. This is a candle from MKBHD. It's $35, so it's a premium candle, and I associate premium things with the MKBHD brand, so that makes sense. It's a nice candle, but when you go to our criteria, like number one, is this scalable beyond the creator? I guess you could like the smell of this candle, but I don't- I don't know how you would access this candle if you're not just naturally on the MKBHD store. Two, is it authentic to the audience? Is it? Matt I don't Black, if you're a super fan, I think it is. If you really like the studio channel, which is his second channel, then maybe you would really want to show your support by buying this candle. I think there's more products on his website that are more authentic to the audience, like the desk mat, mm. which is actually a cheaper product than this. And that is more like setting up your edit space, setting up your desk, even the notebooks that are really beautiful, those feel more relevant than a candle to me. And the last one being, is this shareable beyond the creator? I mean, it's a good candle, but you can get good candles all over. I love Marquez, love the whole team at MKBHD. It's hard for me to say this, but I, the candle is a loser. Harsh. Ooh. Harsh. Can't believe you just said that. I can't believe I just said that. I will say if this is the beginning of an interior design empire where he partners with Ikea, and instead of just having your space smell like Marquez is there, it could be an entire experience where you've got like work desks and everything that he has at his studio. Then it's a smart move. But for right now, like you said, it's a loser. Don't put this on me. You said it first, <laughs> Don't put man. This on me. You're the one who called Marquez. her a loser. It he was, was Colin. The one. Colin said it. He was the one. Colin said Play it. Play back the me. tape. It was Samir. The candle is a loser. Is a loser. Is a loser. Off camera, Colin said it. No. He made me say no, it. No, not true. I love you, Marquez. Everybody should subscribe. All right, next product. Is this the big one? We're saving the big one. We're gonna save it. All right, our next product is Dizzy Wine by Tana Mojo. My baby, my baby, my baby, Dizzy Wine. This is from like a day ago, but there's some in it, honestly. Tagline is wine, that's a little bit wild. And Tana's a little bit wild. She's a little wild. So that's authentic, that's on yeah. brand. It's this like cute little canned wine. Look at this. That's cool. Don't mix with Sway pre-workout. <laughs> Let's get dizzy. Cheers. Is this the first time we're drinking on the show? I'm going to say not my cup of tea. It's not bad. I, I just don't really like canned wine. All right. So is this 
scalable beyond Tana's audience. One thing I'm not positive about is that it says white wine by Tana Mojo on the outside. Agreed. I would put that a little bit more on the background so that you could just become a fan of Dizzy Wine and not feel like you have to be a fan of Yeah. Tana. It makes it feel almost like too promotional. Is it authentic to your audience? Yes. hundred percent. Yes. And is it shareable? Yeah. Yeah. If you're partying, you're going to want to share it with someone say, Hey, here, have some Dizzy. Want to want to get Dizzy? No. I haven't partied in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I don't, say <laughs> I don't know how the kids don't talk. Know. Let's get dizzy this weekend. <laughs> it's already sold out. It's tough to get. I think that's going to be the hard part for them is the, can they keep up with the demand? But this could work. And if it works, it's going to pay off massively. Big time. Talking Clooney levels. Clunes? Clunes. Dare I say this is a winner? I agree. Oh, I think wow. it's a winner. Crazy. Unexpected, yeah, unexpected from you and I. I thought this was going to be a loser, but I think it's a winner. Tana Mojo, Dizzy Wine, winner. Cheers. All right. Now that I have some pre-workout in me, a little bit of wine, and we have a candle lit, it's probably time for us to open up with each other. Let's open up. It's okay. been long enough. My heart is moving in all types of directions. All right. Our next product is Spark by Seek Discomfort. So this is Yes Theory's brand that is releasing a card game. Yes Theory is all about connecting with strangers, putting yourself out of your comfort zone, and that's exactly what this game does. Each card has a question on it that is supposed to spark conversation. And once you actually ask a few questions and you're playing with, you know, strangers or friends or family, there's also a gold card that has a QR code on it. And you can scan that QR code and it'll give you an adventure to do with the people you're playing with. Okay, let's play. Here we go. If you knew you only had one year left on this earth, what would you change about your life and why? Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. Oh. Let me drink a little bit more dizzy wine. <laughs> oh my God. So I have one year left mm -hmm. to live. I'd move back to the East Coast. I'd make sure that I was closer to my family, but I would also start traveling like crazy. I think I would almost do the exact same thing, except I would just get my family together. I'd probably buy a plane because whatever, <laughs> and just put my family in it and travel the world with them. I didn't know buying a plane was an option. <laughs> you only have one <laughs> year left to spend all your money on the plane. <laughs> I, can't, yeah. I can't buy a plane. I don't think most people's <laughs> life money is playing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is our <laughs> like, I'm going to buy a yacht, <laughs> charter it to the Maldives. <laughs> buy a plane, man. How much is a plane? Plane can be more. I think it's pretty expensive. A plane cannot be more expensive than the final product in this video. You know what I would also do? I would go nuts on crypto stuff. How much is a private jet? I'd go deep into the metaverse. Holy shit. I mean, you could probably get a, you could mortgage a private jet, right? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. Okay. I'd definitely buy a private jet. All right. Is there someone who you think owes you an apology? The NHL. What? Yeah. <laughs> Frankly, I think it's absurd that they would have more subscribers than us. And uh, it's rude. It's tacky. I don't believe in it. If you could please subscribe so that we could pass the NHL, that would be great. I mean, you were a pretty good hockey player. When I you was a kid. great hockey player and yeah. they never called. I watched They this, never called. I watched this clip of you as a kid. We've all seen the clip. Playing hockey without a puck. You know, they've seen the clip. You're just kind of going up and down the street. What's no the puck. Problem? Why do you bring up the without a puck thing? Shouldn't you be playing with a puck? Think it, I think it doesn't matter. You're like showing off your, your six and you can see that my ability skills. What's it called? to weave it, in and out. Is it dribbling? What are you doing? Cradling? What is that? Ha what's happening? What are you doing there? You, you owe me an apology now. <laughs> All right, Spark by Yes Theory fits all three criteria. You don't need to be a fan of the guys to enjoy it. It's authentic to their mission and it's shareable. Winner. All right, now it's time for uh, another break. Spin the wheel. <laughs> Spin, Spin the, the wheel. wheel. This is an insane episode. Yeah, this is a crazy episode. Now I'm just like, now I'm just drinking. Uh, here we go. All right, a product for Isabel Page. She is currently in a van traveling mm -hmm. throughout Europe. Mm hmm She's living the slow life. She is the anti-Mr. Beast on YouTube. I think an alarm clock that keeps digital products out of your bedroom. I'm going to go with a, a line of seeds where you can oh, actually cool. have your own garden that you can then eat from. This is the slowest possible life. Okay. Okay. Oh, What's that's cool. slower? Because you watch things happen over time. Slow growth. Slow growth. Slow growth. Okay. Another idea, a tiny home brand. Have you seen these tiny home brands on Instagram where like they'll air dry, they're literally like oh, crane so she could home. sell the homes. Yeah, she'll yeah, sell like the tiny homes. I like that a lot. And they'll like airdrop them into your backyard. Mm. And that's time. Our next product is from the Sidemen and this is Sides, which is their restaurant. If you're unfamiliar with the Sidemen, they are a collective of guys whoa, who- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just we'll tell you about the Sidemen in our video about the Sidemen. All side right, men. fine. Yeah, we'll tell you about the Sidemen. We'll be making a video about the Sidemen. You'll learn all about the Sidemen then. The menu is incredible. <laughs> it's, it fits my diet perfectly. They have vegan options. Why are you pointing at me? Vegan. Nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you can't order it here in the States. So we brought in the Colin and Samir food review correspondent in the UK, Max Fosh, to try sides and give us his review. 
Hello, governor. <laughs> Colin, that is so you. Um, hiya, guys. Yes, Max Fosh, the international reporter for the Colin Samir Show for today's episode. Let's get cracking. So the main thing I like about sides is that the branding doesn't really say the side men anywhere on it at all. So if you were just looking and browsing through Deliveroo for something to eat, this would be as appealing as anything else. First thing I'm gonna go for is their chicken sandwich. Oh, pretty good. A lot of flavors going on there. The chicken seems very nice and crisp and crunchy, which we like. Let's try the mac and cheese bites. Lovely and crunchy, pardon me. Now what I've been looking forward to is the slaw. Hey, I'm calling it now, sides. Winner in my book. Back to you guys in the studio. Here's what I think about sides. So you disagree with Max? It, it should be all sides. It should be fries, chicken nuggets, mac and cheese. I don't, I don't know what. Yes, mac and cheese. Sure, just all sides. Why do they have Fries. mains? Otherwise, they should call, should it, call mains. it mains. Yeah, you're right. That's it. Sides. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It has a better storytelling if it was actually just sides. But is that bad business? <laughs> if I'm in Uber Eats, yeah, and I'm looking for food, I'm not just there for sides. Yeah, that's true. To me, it like fits their their audience better though because their audience was like gamers and young guys and you could turn sides into mains you right just up the quantity right i would like <laughs> i think, it, I like, I think it's like a four it's like a quadrant box and you get like mm. four just sides it's and like that's a munchies box yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a munchies like a bento box. box it's a bento box taco, taco bell yeah. has a, a something bento similar box of sides yeah. it's a bento box, box of, sides. of sides that's way better okay. it's like fries tear tots so sides from the side men if they make our changes is a winner but as of right now it's a loser. Also because we can't try it. So we have no idea. It's like, like, come on guys. So let's get it in the US. What are we doing? All right. Our next product is the Hello Nimia bundle from Nikki Tutorials. Nikki is a Dutch YouTube creator who started in 2008 and she's been making makeup tutorials the entire time, which is pretty incredible. She's collabed with huge celebrities doing their makeup like Selena Gomez and Lady Gaga. We bought this bundle of just like good skincare things. I specifically requested the cooling eye stick. I actually don't have a skincare routine at all. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, that's where you're wrong. I'm gonna try the Burr Burr Cooling Eye Stick. That's what I said I liked. Great packaging. Unfold the packaging of the box for extra tips by Nikki Tutorials. That's I, cool. I love that. I love that, that's well, great. Well, surprise. Is your foundation looking a little too flat? Mix in a couple of drops of this serum to bring it back to life. Oh yeah, your foundation is- It's a little flat. flat. You're right. I'm gonna okay. dive in here. Yep. You just drop it? But that's not under eye serum. Okay. What's, What's happening? Does that look right? <laughs> Hold on. Colin, Colin, stop crying, what? dude. It's okay. What have you done? Oh. Oh. Yeah, Am I spreading? Oh, wow, yeah, you're you are wow. glowing. You are glowing. Is that an allergic <laughs> reaction I see? <laughs> <laughs> That's a gorgeous glow. I feel shiny. Yeah. There's like, does. what is in there? Okay, stop, stop rubbing your face for a second and let me look. That looks pretty good. Thanks. Burr, burr. Already, I like the concept of this product because you can watch a creator and follow along and they can tell you what to do. I mean, her content is transformative and so is the product. So it's a perfect fit. What's amazing about this is she launched the product six months ago. Her launch video has 1.5 million views. That's really an unbelievable way to launch a brand. So can this scale beyond Nikki? Yes. 100%. 100%. I mean, she has such a massive audience yeah. that if I'm using this, someone says, what skincare products do you use? Yep. You can easily say I use Nimia. Is it shareable? You want to glow like me? There you go. I think her content is shareable, which then makes the product shareable as exactly, well. Exactly, yeah. And there are a lot of people who have made reviews and have used the product in videos. And then is it authentic to your audience? Of course. So Nimia by Nikki Tutorials is a winner. A little fan. Ooh, I, I feel Ooh. great right now. Like I feel like... This is what self-care is. All right, what's next? Another wheel. All right, another wheel. Here we go. Right, you spin, I'll pull from that. Corridor Crew. Okay. We have to brainstorm a book. Corridor Crew makes videos of them reacting to VFX. So I think it's like a coffee table book that's before and after effects or like how they did it. I love those videos where you're watching the scene and then all of a sudden it wipes across and you see what yeah. the BTS actually looked like. So I that, think it's like whatever that. that is yeah. in a book. And what's it called? Anyone? Name of the name of the book. Name, name of, the book. of the book. VFX, the corridor. I think it's more broad than that. And it's like how movies are made. Yeah, or, it's like the yeah. Hollywood effect. Because we want to yeah. make sure it's shareable yeah. beyond them. Or movie magic. The Hollywood effect. That was I like nice. the Hollywood, the Hollywood effect. effect. I like movie, movie magic. Movie magic. magic. Yeah. That's just showing you mm -hmm. the scene and then what it took to make the scene happen. Yep. 
Thanks, Tyga. All right, our next product is from Braille Skateboarding. This is a channel that was started in 2005, 10 months after YouTube started. This is the largest skateboarding channel in the world, and a lot of the content is tutorials on how to learn skateboard tricks. This is the second most expensive product that we bought, and in order to review it, we're gonna have to go outside. Before we do the three points, I'm gonna land a heel flip. Ready, Colin? No, he's not. Oh, oh that, that was, was pretty close, pretty actually. Close. I don't wanna, like, fall. Oh! oh! That was so cool. Yo, are we are we playing, are we like having a skate off right now? Yeah. That's valid. All right, here we go. Whoa! Get it. Oh god. It's getting dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. This feels like that scene in the office when they're learning parkour. Parkour. <laughs> Skateboard. Yay! Oh! oh, yeah. All right. So first, is this product scalable beyond the creator? 100%. I think because this is branded as a beginner skateboard, it's scalable beyond the creator because anyone who's trying to learn how to skate can buy the skateboard. And again, similar to Nikki tutorials, you can actually buy the skateboard and then learn about the channel afterwards. And I think that's really positive. Additionally, with the board, you get free access to their membership club for a limited time and that has more tutorials in it, a Discord so you can join other skaters who are learning how to skate. On top of that, you can start to tell friends that you skateboard now. Or not, yeah, I'll leave. <laughs> the overall Braille skateboard, oh my God. Braille skateboarding skateboard is a winner. All right, now for our final item, our most expensive item, an item that kind of freaked me out when we bought it to be honest. Yeah, I mean, listen, we've always wanted to buy a piece of merch from Doug Demaro. This car is amazing, and today, I'm going to review it. Doug started uploading YouTube videos in 2008, reviewing cars. He spent a period of time working for Porsche, eventually left his job and started writing for a automobile blog. And then with his channel really taking off, launched the website in 2020, Cars and Bits. Which is my enthusiast car auction website with cool cars from the modern era. So we went to carsandbids.com and found our perfect car only 20 miles away. All right, place bid. 2500, 2500. 2500, going once, going twice. Bids are binding and cannot be retracted. We're buying a car. We are the top bid. But over the next 24 hours, the price just kept going up and up and up. Oh my God! Wait, wait, wait. And there were almost 30 bids. If this is the final, we gotta go 87, right? Well, somebody outbid right someone now. Someone outbid it. Someone outbid us already? Yeah. Someone put someone outbid box. it before. Oh, that's yeah. fine. That's final. That's actually that's final. final. <laughs> that's final. Go, go, go. Go, 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 Hurry! 19. 18. 17. 16. We don't want a scar. Oh, no, someone bid. 11. 10. No, oh my God. Oh, my God. 7. 6. 5. More. No. 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 I can't believe it. Did you guys get it? Oh! oh my God! So this has officially become our most expensive video, which is why we want to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Shopify. Now, Shopify powers millions of online businesses, including a lot of the ones from the creators that we showed you today. And they share the same mission as us to empower creators to bring their ideas to life. And to make sure that if you're a creator and you want to buy a car, you can buy that car. That, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's on the Shopify website. Might be, yeah. Shopify just launched LinkPop, which is a link and bio tool that's designed to be shoppable from the start. So for creators like us, we have all types of things dispersed across the internet, and it's great to have something like LinkPop to have it all in one place. Because it's powered by Shopify, it's an incredibly seamless shopping experience. So check this out. You just click on the hat, add to bag, and check out. All in three clicks without even leaving Instagram. That's pretty crazy. Here's the craziest part. You actually don't need to launch a Shopify store to have a link pop. And that's gonna reduce the friction and allow more creators to launch more brands and use social platforms to distribute them. While this car that we're about to show you was definitely not free, Link Pop is free, so make sure to click the link in our description as well as reserve your name so that no one else takes it. In the spirit of supporting small businesses and supporting your crazy dreams like Shopify has supported ours, put a brand or merch idea in the comments and we'll pick one random person to give $1,000 to to support their small business or merch idea. All right, now it's time to show you our brand new company car. Thanks to Shopify. All right, first of all, this car is 
awesome. Well, easy. Yeah, but it is. Yeah, this it car is, is so really great. cool. I can't believe we own this car. It's unbelievable. This is our company car now. What should we do with this car? Now, when it comes to the experience of buying this car, Cars and Bids checks every box for us. So is it scalable beyond the creator? 100%. The guy who sold us this car didn't even know who Doug DeMauro was. Well, one day when Doug doesn't want to upload YouTube videos, carsandbid.com could still be making him money. <laughs> is it authentic to Doug? Absolutely. If you go to his channel and search by oldest videos, he's been reviewing cars forever. Since 2008. That's forever in my book. That's basically forever. Yeah, that's forever. <laughs> yeah. Lastly, is it shareable? Absolutely. The auction process was incredible. I could totally see people sharing that. And once you actually get the car, I mean, you want to share it. We're sharing this car right now. You know what was interesting? Was during the auction process, there was like a community that was commenting on the auction mm -hmm. as it was going, that it was clearly entertaining even if you weren't going to bid or win the car. Watching the auction was interesting. Let us know what your favorite piece of creator merch was from this episode. Thanks so much to Shop5 for supporting us and helping us buy this car. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you don't already because we're gonna be doing more merch reviews and we wanna do more with this car. So comment below, what should we do with the it car? It has a sunroof. All right, we gotta go. Let's go. Seatbelts on. Okay, Safety hold on, one first. sec, one sec. Safety. Let's see if there's anything up here. Safety oh. first. What? What? Great. Does this car come with feasibles? All right, see you later. Can you park, please?